Music theory is the language of music. It's how musicians communicate with each other. It's how music is passed on from one generation to the next. Every song and every solo that's ever been played is possible because someone knew how to communicate what was in their heart and soul. And it's that form, that structure, that makes music possible, and it's called music theory. Now, do you have to know music theory to play guitar? No, of course not. In fact, if you're just starting out, the last thing you really need to worry about is music theory. But once you've got the basics down, you know your open chords, the fundamentals of rhythm and strumming, and you can play some songs, most guitarists get to a point where they hit a wall, they get stuck, they get trapped into playing the same old stuff over and over. And then they wind up losing focus. They're confused, frustrated, and unsure of how to move forward. And once you fall into that routine, boredom sets in. And unfortunately, that's where many players quit. Because when the guitar isn't fun anymore, there's no reason to play. So if you've been playing a while and you feel like you're not making the progress that you want, or boredom is setting in, or you feel lost or stuck in a rut, then music theory can be a great way to break out and reignite the spark in your playing. Sometimes, even with the best intentions, it's easy to get lost and lose your way, especially if you're trying to figure it out all alone. It's so much faster and easier to make progress when you have someone who can guide you along your guitar playing journey. For example, Steve Vai is one of the all-time great guitarists, and he studied with another legendary player, Joe Satriani. Here's the story of how they met. I mean, it's, it sounds funny to think that I'm just in my house doing nothing, and or I should say my parents' house, I'm just a, you know, idiot teenager, and some other little kid knocks on the door <laughs> with a pack of strings in one hand and, and a stringless guitar in the other, and he says, you know, we saw you play at the high school dance, can you teach me how to play guitar? And I'm like, oh, you little ugly little kid, get in here, you know? Sit down over there. And it just happened to be Steve I. And in this interview with Satriani and Vi, you'll hear him tell you about a major turning point in his life and how critical music theory is if you really want to learn how to play. One of my first lessons you wrote, memorize all the notes on the guitar. <laughs> That's and all. Of, yeah, <laughs> and, of, and in one week. And of course I thought, nah, there's no way. I'm never going to memorize them because I just can't, you know? And I came back to a lesson and one of the first things Joe says is, okay, play an F sharp on the B string. And I went, uh... Uh, uh, and he goes, stop, lesson over. <laughs> and you wrote down in the book, and I still have it, if you don't know your notes, you don't know S-H dash dash <laughs> exclamation mark and wow. sent me home. Wow. It was great. And, and the walk home was one of the most turning points in my life because I, this guy, I decided I am never, ever going to show up not completely prepared. So it's so funny how little, little things... things can have such a profound impact. That's true. It's That's true. true. Listen, learning music theory can change your life. I'll never forget when I had an opportunity to play with Mitch Malloy in his hometown of Dickinson, North Dakota. Now Mitch had had a couple of really big hits back in the 80s, and now he's the singer for Great White. I knew a few of Mitch's songs because they were on the radio all the time back then, and I learned the chords to the rest of the songs, but I didn't know any of the solos. I decided I would just learn the songs and jam the solos. This was a big mistake. Now I could play solos pretty well in minor pentatonic because minor pentatonic sounded great over the style of music that I played the most back then. The problem was, Mitch's songs were a completely different style than I was used to and found out the hard way on stage in front of about 7,000 people that my handful of minor pentatonic tricks just weren't going to work. We started playing the songs and every time the solos came up, they were awful. It was the most humbling experience of my guitar playing life, but it changed the whole trajectory of my playing, my study, and everything like that. Because it made me realize that there's a lot of stuff that I just didn't know. Now, it wasn't until I got to college that I realized how much I didn't know. It was mind-blowing. All the scales, chords, progressions, modes. At first, I was frustrated and completely overwhelmed. It was like drinking from a fire hose. But slowly, the pieces of the puzzle started coming together. And when it did, everything began to become a lot more clear. And as I continued to increase my understanding of how music is made, how certain chords go together, how scales are connected across the fretboard, how rhythm is counted and played and felt deep in your bones, everything started to make sense. 
And as my knowledge increased, my confidence also increased. I felt totally at ease walking into a room of musicians, knowing that if someone said, hey, we're gonna play this 12 bar blues in the key of A, that I knew exactly which chords to use and which notes I could play to improvise a solo. I was no longer intimidated. The fear was gone. And my playing was solid, clean, and confident. And having that rock solid confidence in yourself, it puts your audience at ease because it comes through in your playing, which makes your performance more enjoyable for everybody. Imagine if you travel to a country where you didn't speak the language. Let's say you always wanted to go to Italy. You want to go to the most important cities and soak up the local culture, see the beautiful countryside, and eat the best Italian food of your life. Imagine what type of trip you'd have if you only knew a few words of Italian. You'd probably be stuck on a tour bus because you wouldn't have the confidence to rent a car and drive because that would require you to navigate by yourself, read a map, and understand the road signs. You'd probably eat at restaurants that cater to tourists because you wouldn't be able to strike up a conversation with someone who'd send you to his or her favorite locals only place that serves the most authentic food and the menu is only in Italian. You'd have to settle for the tourist attractions instead of those special insiders only places that are reserved for those who speak the language. Now, in both cases, you visited Italy, but the experience was completely different. One trip was okay, the other was a trip of a lifetime. And that's what music theory does for you. Music theory is the language that musicians speak. It's how we communicate. And when you speak the language fluently, you're confident, bold, and unafraid. You can jam with others, you can write your own music, compose your own songs, clearly communicate your ideas, and your guitar playing journey can be the trip of a lifetime. I invite you to join me on a journey to master the language of music. I'm Steve Stein, and this is my Music Theory Masterclass.